I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be making our gaming cloth stockings. These are lots of fun. I have three different colors. We have the red, white, and green. And this is exactly how your stocking is going to come to you. And I'll show you just how we press it. It gets a little confusing. you got to flip and do two different sides. So we will show you the steps to making it a lot easier. So today I have my stocking. We're going to just press the red stocking today. I have two different images. One is for my cuff with my name. And the other is going to be for our actual stocking. So we're going to be doing two different presses on this product. I brought some Condi Dye Transpro Spray, a sticky lint roller, some scissors, and a couple sheets of protective paper. What I'm going to do first is cut out around my John area, just to make sure that I don't sublimate that black line that I used for my template. It's easy since it has a white background, it will just look nice when we press it. So we're ready to go over to our press. And the most important thing is realizing that we're doing this in a two-step, so I'm going to press either my cuff or my stocking. And if I'm doing one or the other, I'm going to hang it off the edge so the heat will not get applied to both. This is a really nice, thick lining. We want to make sure that we keep it off the edge of our heat press. What I'll do first is we have to pre-press. So I'll take a sticky lint roller. Lightly go over the area that I'm about to press. Grab another sheet of protective paper. And I'm going to pre-press for just 20 seconds using a medium pressure and 400 degrees. Now that my 20 seconds is up, we're going to lift and swing away on our press. While my cuff is still warm, do one last sticky lint roller. Grab my Pro Spray and my Transfer. I'm going to lightly mist. Place it so that I were to read it this way. And the reason, the easiest way that I remember, is that I always think that with my little loop here, and I'm going to hang it on a fireplace, that when I pull this through, this is how I'm going to want my name to read. It's just a little trick that I use. However, it's easiest for you to remember. You can, with my transfer in place, grab my other sheet of protective paper, and I'm going to press. At 400 degrees for 55 seconds with medium pressure. And that sound means we're done. So we'll lift and swing away on our press. Move our transfer. And that's transfer number one. Now what I'll do is I'm going to pull my stocking through. And we're going to pull it all the way through. So even the side that we just pressed is going to get hidden. And this is a gaming cloth. So that's why it's almost like a felt material. And then the stocking on the inside has a really nice, like a polyester feel. They're very high quality, thick stocking. You'll notice that this stocking, you won't need to put a piece of paper in between because the layers of the stocking won't allow the image to bleed through. So it's just a nice, high quality product. Making sure that's in place. I want to make sure that when I'm flipping this over, you'll see that's where the John is. We're going to press on that same side. So I'll get this nice and flat. Again, you're either pressing your cuff or you're pressing your stocking. So we're going to make sure that we leave our cuff off the edge of our press. Do a sticky lint roll. Add our 
sheet of protective paper and we're going to pre-press again for 20 seconds. Now that my 20 seconds is up, move my protective paper. One more sticky lint roll. It's nice to do it when it's warm because if there's any loose particles, they come up pretty easy. And our final press is going to be with our stocking transfer. So we're going to lightly mist. You can cut this out if it makes it easier for you, but it is such a large template. It's pretty easy to line up. Grab our piece of paper for the top and we're going to press again for another 55 seconds, 400 degrees, medium pressure. And that sound means we're done. So we'll lift and swing away on our press. Move our transfer. Oh, that looks excellent. If there is any slight white, you'll notice that when we pull down the cover, it's going to look excellent. Give this just a few minutes to cool on my table and we'll fold it the right way and we'll show you what our finished product looks like. Now that we finished our stocking, our last little step is to fold over our cuff. So the red, green, and white part is actually the lining. It's a wonderful lining. And you can hang it up on the tree. If you want, you can also do the other side of the stocking, just an idea. But this is how you're going to press our gaming felt stockings. It's a little bit difficult when you first get it, when you see how it's folded inside out. But hopefully with our instructions, and we got some really nice instructions and pictures for you on the web too, and these make just excellent gifts. For more of our products and services, be sure to visit us at condi.com and watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm ready with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us. Thank you.